Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial. Today we are going to be learning how to create a crochet uh, remembrance poppy. This pattern's really super fast and super easy to make. Um, the centerpiece has only got one round and the flower and the petal are each only made up of two rounds. So it's really, really fast, and really, really super easy to make. Um, so to make this poppy, all you're going to need are your three color yarns. So your black, red, and green. I'm just using a standard acrylic double knit. You can choose to use whatever you prefer. Um, I'm also using a three mil hook and a two mil hook. The three mil is going to be used to create the flower and the leaf. The two mil is for the center black piece, just so there's no red peeking through that black there. Um, you can obviously use the three mil if you prefer, but you just do a few less stitches than I would do on mine. Um, I'm going to be creating this flower using US terminology. But for those of you that prefer UK terms, I have actually got a little book there. So if I just hold that for a couple of seconds, you can pause the video and then use that for conversion if you would prefer to work in UK terms. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the flower and the three mil hook. Um, to start with, I'm going to make a magic ring. There are several different ways of doing this, but my preferred method is holding it over my finger wrapping it once, wrapping it over there to create a cross over my finger. Insert your hook under the first loop and then over the second loop, pull the yarn through, yarn over the hook, gently remove your finger from the ring and then pull that through your yarn there and that is the start of a magic ring. I'll do it once more for people that haven't done it before. So it's up over your finger, round and cross over. So you've got a cross. Hook underneath this first loop over the second loop. Pull the yarn up through underneath move your finger from the loop take your working yarn yarn over and pull through that loop there and there you have your magic ring now keep your tail along with your ring because you're going to be working your stitches over this this is going to be worked into your stitches okay right so it's really super easy to begin with so all you have to do is start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we are going to do some, we're going to make 10 double treble stitches. This is US terms, double treble. Okay, in UK terms, it's a treble treble. So to do this, we're going to yarn over the hook once, yarn over the hook twice, and yarn over the hook three times, okay? We're then going to insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, I'll do this a bit closer so you can see, and then we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, Yarn over again, pull through two loops, so that's twice. Yarn over, pull through two loops, that's three times. Then yarn over and pull through the final two loops, that's four times. And that there is your double treble crochet. I'm going to make 10 of these in total, okay? So again, yarn over once, twice, three times, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops once, yarn over, pull through two loops twice, yarn over, pull through two loops, that's your third time, and yarn over and pull through those two loops for the fourth time. 
okay so there you go so that's two onto your next double treble so once twice three times into the magic ring yarn over pull up that loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the fourth set of two right so that's three i'm just going to continue on until i've got all ten okay So what do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we've got our 10 there. I will just do a count just to double check. So we've got our starting chain of five and we've got our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double treble crochets. So now we're going to do the same as what we did at the start. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five then we're going to slip stitch into the center of the ring okay so pull up a loop and pull it through your working loop so now find your tail of your magic ring and just tighten that off a little bit just so that you don't lose that end there and that is your first uh, petal and we're going to go straight on to make the second one because that was the biggest so that literally would take no time at all once you've learned how to do it and you're up to speed it really does take seconds okay right so we will start on to the second uh, petal now so again chain five and again we're gonna now we're gonna do six double treble crochets okay so yarn over once twice three times into the middle still we're still working into the center of the magic ring keeping your tail within your stitches okay because you need to work those in and around so that's one two three four and i'll just quickly do the other five One, two, three, four, and two left, five, and six, oh, don't worry if you slip out, we just start it again. your six so we're going to do exactly the same as the other petal we're just only doing the six instead of the ten just makes it narrower um, so now we finish off by chaining five three four and five and slip stitch into the center of the magic ring again right, just pull up your yarn a little bit just so you don't lose it and now close try and close off the center so pull the tail close the center of your magic ring All right now as you can see the petals are looking a little bit square at the moment um, but they'll soon change once we start with 
the second round. Okay, so now we're going to start on the second round of the flower. It's very simple. All we're going to do is work single crochets all the way around the edge and this just helps soften off the edges of the petals. Um, I'm just going to show you what to do within the chain though. So we're going to start within the chain five space, the chain five that we did at the very, very beginning of round one. And we're going to work four single crochets into that space. So one, two, three, and four single crochets into that space. And then with the fifth one, we are going to crochet into the top of that fifth chain. So this one right here, the very top there, we're going to crochet within that there. Then we are going to single crochet in every stitch all the way along until we get to the end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now for the tenth stitch, what we're going to do is really carefully, you see where we've got to the chain five space again, this top chain here, I don't know if you can see the stitching within the light, but the, basically the first V of that stitch, so the top of this final double treble crochet, we're going to, it might be a bit difficult, but we're going to try and ease our hook into under the Vs, so in one, yeah, it's not that easy, you, it is a bit fiddly. in under the second. So then again single crochet within that and then again mirroring what we did at the beginning of the petal we're going to do four single crochets into the chain five space. So that's two, three and four. Then to finish that petal we're going to slip stitch back into the center of the magic ring. Pull up your loop. Okay, so now on the smaller, on the second petal, we're gonna basically, do, we're gonna do exactly what we did on the first one. So again, four single crochets into the chain five space. Three and four, followed by the final one, the fifth one into the fifth chain, that's your five. And then again, um, single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth, again, we're gonna ease ourselves into that top chain of the chain five. So in under the first loop, front loop, and then in under the back, yarn over, pull it up through, yarn over, through both loops. And then four more single crochets in the chain five space. Again, it's exact same as the big petal. It's just this one's a little bit shorter. And then to finish off, slip stitch into the middle chain one and pull up and that is your petal finished. I'm just going to trim the edge off. Okay so we're going to do the centre now and this is really super easy and super quick. I'm using the two mil hook. You can carry on and use the three mil if you prefer. You'll just have to probably um, with this the two mil hook I'm going to be doing ten single crochets into a magic ring. So with the three mil you probably want to do about eight and see sort of how it is size wise then. So we're going to magic ring again. Um, I'll show you one more time. So yarn over your finger and over for a second time, creating a cross, hook in under the first loop, over the second loop, 
pull it up pull it a yarn over with the working yarn your hook and pull it through the loop and there's your magic ring again we're going to be working the tail as well as the magic ring into the stitches so we're just going to do 10 single crochets one two three four five six seven oh, seven eight nine and ten well super easy so then what we're going to do is pull the magic ring tail closing our circle and then we're simply well, obviously it's quite difficult to see with the black so you might have to manually count one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten slip stitch into that very first double crochet that you created again this can be a bit fiddly uh, yarn over pull up And up through that loop there and there you go that is your center done so super super fast um, so pull up your yarn again trim off your end like I said again I'm just gonna feed it in just to save time rather than having to weave both ends in I'm just gonna feed it in to the back of one of these stitches like that pull that down just to feed it down to the other tail and then quickly do a little double knot in that one as well it just saves a bit of time because obviously it's going to be hidden underneath when we sew it together anyway so we don't need to worry too much it's just tying up loose ends and then trim those off so that they'll be hidden once it's sewn onto the flower okay so that's the center done super quick super easy um, obviously before you trim it off do check it for size against your petals uh, just make sure that it is in proportion because obviously everybody's tension is different so you might find that you need to do a smaller or a larger hook size or fewer or less or more stitches okay so that's the center done then next we're going to move on to the leaf I'll meet you back here in a sec going to start our leaf um, this one's super simple um, you just got to make sure you put the right stitches in the right places okay so I've gone back to the three mil hook and obviously moved on to the green yarn um, to begin this one we are going to create a slip knot and then a foundation chain okay so to create a slip knot there are several different ways just like with the magic ring but my preferred method is using my index finger again um, which and to for anyone that hasn't created a slip knot before it's super easy so I'll just show you quickly um, you yarn it over your finger once yarn over your finger twice hold on to your tail and pick up the first loop pull it over the second loop pick up the second loop and pull it over the first loop and your fingertip pull your finger up and there you have your slip knot okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to chain uh, six so one two three four five and six then we are going to work single crochets and each of the chains along starting from the second chain from the hook so we'll have five in total so not the chain that's there that chain it's the second chain from the hook so we're going to go in into the loop pull up yarn over pull through two so that's one single crochet two single crochet so in each stitch along three four and five in the last one there so we've got five single crochets now in this last stitch here we're going to single crochet another two stitches in the same stitch as that last one you've just made okay so another one sort of turn as you go round to the other side 
So the back side of the foundation chain and another one. So we've got three stitches within that top chain there. We are then going to work in to these stitches here on the back of the foundation chain where we are going to chain, uh, sorry, we're going to double, single crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one stitch, two, single crochet, three, four, and five. A bit tricky to see that top one there. It's the one just as it's curving round. Five. And okay, so in that fifth one, so this time in this fifth one, we are just going to add one more stitch within the same stitch space as that fifth single crochet. Okay, so now we've got two single crochets at the end there. We're then going to single crochet again in the next five stitches working round the chain again. So one, two, three, four, and into the fifth one there that again, slightly curving round to the left. Can we take a little bit of a tweak in that one? and five. Okay, so now we've got our fifth one there and then we're going to be working in the next stitch. So this one here, we are going to be working three single crochets within that same stitched base. One, two and three then we're going to single crochet five again so uh, single crochet in the first stitch into the second third fourth and fifth now, this is the important bit that you really need to concentrate on. So we've done our five single crochet now. Now in the next stitch, this one here, it's like they sort of get a bit distorted at the end, but this next one here where you can see the V is curving round, we are going to be doing five stitches all within this one space. So we're going to start with a single crochet, then a half double crochet, then a crouble, double crochet, half double crochet again, and a single crochet again. Okay, so in that next stitch, single crochet, then we're going to be doing a half double crochet. And just as a refresher, or if you haven't done it before, half double crochet, you yarn over once, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up one loop, so you've got three on your hook as if you were doing a double crochet but with the half double crochet you yarn over once and you pull through all three of those loops so that's your half double crochet and then we're going to be doing a double crochet so it's the same again yarn over once insert your hook pull up a loop so you've got three on the hook yarn over but with a double crochet you pull through two loops so you've got two left on your hook and then you yarn over again and pull through those two loops again. Then we're going to be doing one more half double crochet. So through all three loops and then a single crochet, all of these within the same stitch. Okay, so then that's the tip of our leaf. And then we are going to single crochet in the final, how many are we doing? One, two, three seven stitches so just be careful you don't miss this one here because it's quite tight up to that final stitch of that top stitch space there so one two three four five 
five, six, and last one, seven. Then to finish off, all we're gonna do is in that very next stitch, simply slip stitch in, pull up your yarn so you've got a little bit of give, trim off the ends and pull it up through. And there is your finished leaf. So you should add something like that. So like a pointed oval. Okay, and then same as with the center of the flower, I'll just feed this yarn down to this tail here and tie a double knot because that's gonna be hidden by being sewn into the back of the flower anyway. Okay, so now we'll move on to the sewing the pieces together and then we'll be pretty much finished. Okay, so now it's time to assemble our flower. Um, I've attached a darning needle to the end of the long tail that we left from our petals for sewing and I've fed the working yarn to the front of the petals. So now we're going to attach the center piece of the flower, so position where you're happy and then I'm going to just catch the back loops or the underside loops of the center um, with the needle and then thread the yarn through. This just helps minimize the amount of red that can be seen through the black once you've finished. Obviously you don't particularly want to see that. Then feed it straight back through the back, back out of the red again underneath catching the back loop of the black yarn and then simply just do this all the way around obviously you can be as um, you can do as many stitches as you like I'm only just going to tack it in place just for the purposes of the video but yeah, so you just tack the centre in and ideally I wouldn't do what I've just done there. See, I've gone in from the outside and put the stitch in, whereas now you can, you can, I mean, it's not, you know, too worrying, but you can see that red a bit more. And, you know, if you're like me, where you like to keep it nice and round. So really you want to bring your needle in just in under the black, the centre and then push, thread your stitch to the outside and then in back under the black there. So then that stitch is hidden completely. Again, in through the back of the red, under, properly under the black. Grab that back loop, back in under the black and through the petal. I'm just gonna do one more stitch. Up through that back loop. back in under that just helps keep the center a bit more circular see because you can see really see where that stitch was now where I went from the outside to the inside so it's really it is quite important actually depend your stitch placement when you when you're sewing in your your bits and pieces okay so then obviously we're going to attach the leaf um, pop it into a position where you're happy with. Obviously you can have it higher or lower depending on what you prefer. I'm gonna pop it about there. And then again, just if you can, wherever possible, always back, grab the bottom loop of whatever it is that you're attaching because or a plique because it just looks that little bit neater when you finish. Obviously you've got the black flower center on the opposite side so you just want to go under you just want to catch a loop of the red catch a loop of the red catch a loop of the green again so you're just tacking it in place obviously like I say you'd be a bit more thorough than I'm doing being right now I'm just showing you roughly how I go about attaching things as I said I'm not the world's best sewer by any means I'm probably doing it all wrong but <laughs> It, it works for me um yeah so then carry on sewing in attaching making sure it's all secure 
check double check your positioning before you do do your final stitches of relief because as you can see it does move quite a bit um, and then yeah just tie up your ends and weave them in as you normally would and then there we go we have our finished remembrance poppy um, thank you so much for watching my video um, as you probably tell I'm quite new to this so um, hopefully I'll improve as I go along um, if you did enjoy this tutorial today I've got lots more intricate flowers more realistic looking um, a lot more lace work things like that coming up um, if you want to be kept up to date with all of that please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click like on this uh, video would be really appreciated okay so until next time thank you